My, 28F, fiancé, 38M, proposed to me last week. We've been dating for two years. He has a 15-yo daughter from a previous marriage. Her mom passed again five years ago and I have a 6-yo son. When my fiancé and I started to date, I noticed that his daughter had the master bedroom. I found it weird because I've never seen a child taking over the master bedroom before. But he brushed it off saying that the house was, hers, so it was normal she slept there, with no further explanation. Asterisk I thought he meant as an inheritance from when he passed away which still was weird because he was alive. But either way, I didn't say anything because we were only beginning and I knew it wasn't my business. Now that we're engaged, I said that I wanted to move here to live together for a while before we decided the wedding date. He said that we could do it or we could get our own house now because we will have to do it regardless. I asked what was wrong with this one and he said nothing, but that it was her daughter's, to be honest now I did get a little mad. I said it wasn't fair he called it his daughter's when we were about to get married and he was supposed to adopt my son, so now the house should be theirs and not only hers. I also said I wanted his daughter out of the master because it was ours. He got a little nervous and said that the house really belonged to his late wife and when she passed, the house became his daughter's. He has enough money for maybe 60% of a house, but that we will have to pay off the rest together. I was shocked and said that he could ask her daughter for the house because she's only 15 and he is her dad but he said no, that it was her daughter's. I got angry and called him a jerk because he should have told me the truth before and he said that it's not like we will be homeless or anything, we still have three years and maybe four after that because his daughter will leave for college. He said he has always known he has to move out and that's why he saved. I asked what else belonged to his daughter. That I didn't know of and he said that his car, a 2020 Kia, the car that I always use will be hers when she leaves for college. I called him a jerk again and left with my son to my parents' house. When I told my family my brother laughed because I talked and acted like a gold digger and called me an awe I felt betrayed and lied, am I really ta? I think I'm justified ETA. He saw the post and asked for his ring back. I guess this isn't a problem anymore Ada. No need to keep commenting he'll come tomorrow to get his ring and his car. Things are over. Bless the late wife's choice to leave the house in her daughter's name. Although I might find the bedroom allocation a little funny, it's up to them. Op is not entitled to push the daughter out. Expecting fiancé to take the car and the house back because she's just a kid as a recipe to remain a single mother and makes Op the awe. Growing up. Us kids had the top floor. Parents had the bedroom with bath on the ground floor. Technically one of the upstairs bedrooms had more SQR feet than the ground floor bedroom. Houses are odd things. Even now, I really only use my bedroom for sleeping. I don't work, study, etc. in there. If my layout was different, I'd probably turn a master bedroom into an office and sleep in a smaller bedroom. Have you never talked about your financial future, house plans before getting engaged? It seems very strange to me that this has never come up in more detail than the initial thing about the daughter's bedroom. You'd be surprised at what people don't talk about before rushing things. Yta. You are not entitled to his house or his car and the fact that they are actually his daughters means you are even less entitled to them. Your brother has the correct assessment. Don't marry this man. He and his daughter deserve better than you. Greater than he saw the post and asked for his ring back. I guess this isn't a problem anymore. LMAO. However, I read the whole post two times and still don't understand why he would be a jerk. He wanted to buy a house to start a family with Op there, so, what's her point? I just don't get it. Why did she want particularly the house that belongs to his daughter? Maybe I'm missing something here. Y-T-A. Let me count the ways. 1. You should have clarified what he meant when he said the house was his daughter's inheritance. 2. You don't respect your fiancé's role as father and steward of her property. 3. You think you are entitled to this child's property and to displace her. 4. Same with the car. 5. You obviously don't care about having a good relationship with your soon-to-be stepdaughter. 6. The name-calling was mild but really doesn't bode well for your relationship. That's the word for it. He's just the steward of the property. I couldn't remember at all. Yta, your brother is right. You sound like a gold digger. Yep, 
Sounds like she's mad she doesn't get a free house. Yes, you are YTA. Why do you feel entitled to your fiancé's late wife's house? It now belongs to their daughter. Grow up and start sharing financial responsibility with your fiancé. Exactly. And, even when the daughter leaves for college the house will still belong to the daughter. I'm gonna say YTA. What exactly didn't he tell you? He said it was her house which you interpreted as inheritance which was correct. You were just wrong in who she'd inherited the house from. Granted he could have been more specific but he was not wrong in saying it's her house when it is. I do think it's kinda shitty of you to ask him to go to her and ask if he can have the house to move in his new wife to be and her son. Also to give up the master bedroom in a house she'd now be the master of. You're mad because a car you use all the time isn't his? Why is that a problem for you? Don't you have a vehicle? I don't think he's being a jerk I think he's respecting his late wife's will and her wishes which have nothing to do with you. It is weird you got mad about being told that stuff that's not yours not being yours just cause you were going to be married. It does come across as a bit gold diggery to me. A bit gold diggery? More like a ton. Y.T.A. The house doesn't belong to your future husband. Stop acting like an entitled awe and trying to literally steal from a child. Point of order. She's trying to asterisk extort asterisk from a child, not steal. She wants the girl to be forced to give up the house. YTA okay so. You clearly do not get how this stuff works. The house was in his ex-wife's name, not his. His ex-wife left the house to her daughter. It was very obvious before you said it was his late wife's house what he meant. The house is hers, aka. Legally it's in her name. Dot. He did not owe it to you at all to disclose the legal agreements that were unrelated to you. You were never lied to. He even kept repeatedly saying, the house is hers, your son does not have rights to any of it, as it was his ex-wife's and she is no relation to your son. You are acting like a gold digger. What is wrong with you and your fiancé building your own place with your own memories with your own things anyway? She was not his ex-wife if they were still married when she died. She would be his late wife. Y.T.A. Your brother appears to be right about you. Quit being possessive over a child's inheritance. If it was left to her, it is hers. Y.T.A. You asked why she had the master bedroom, and he told you it's because the house is hers. He did tell you, but you didn't listen and assumed it wasn't hers. I could even believe that maybe you misunderstood. But now that you are 100% sure that the house belongs to the daughter, you still make silly arguments that the daughter shouldn't stay in her master suite because she's only 15. Like you still don't understand what ownership means. Also, Op doesn't seem to see that her fiancé's daughter having a house also benefits her fiancé and herself. He's been living there probably rent-free since his ex passed away, allowing him to save for a home of his own since he knew he couldn't live there forever. Now he seems to have a fair share of payment for a house, and it's reasonable of him to expect Op to contribute. Also, if Op move into the house owner's house, it's very nice of her to allow this person she has known for two years and her son to live there. Op is only pissed because she assumed she would get half a house just by marrying her BF and she doesn't see how good this situation really is. YTA as her mom owned the home and wanted her to have it. He is planning for a home for you both together. I get that you are currently using a car but it's something he bought too if he wants to give it you his daughter that's his choice. Have you discussed finances and even your future home and maybe getting another car for you later? Have a conversation together. YTA and this is exactly the situation the dead wife envisioned and prevented asterisk by giving the house to her daughter, that no stepmother comes traipsing in and trying to kick out the kid from the house. Dot. You can only feel betrayed if you were promised things. Your own failed expectations are at fault here. Not the gut. Certainly not the kid. Y.T.A. He told you the house belonged to his daughter. That you chose to not ask what he meant and assumed he really owned it is your own fault. You deceived yourself. It is her inheritance from her dead mother, and you want a share of it. The girl has already lost her mother, but that's not enough. Now you're demanding a share of her inheritance go to people the mother never even met. How can you think that's reasonable? 
greater than I was shocked and said that he could ask her daughter for the house because she's only 15 and he is her dad. So, you'd ask to disinherit the daughter to benefit you because you can lord over her? Not sure if that would be legal, but it definitely shows why T.A. According to him, he has Ina for a 60% down payment on a house. That's pretty damn good. I'm amazed you're so put out by this situation. Dot. This honestly reads like the prologue of a modern retelling of Cinderella. He has 60% saved up. She apparently has no savings, doesn't even have her own car. But she is mad at him because she wanted to start her new life easy and debt-free with a full house, not just some measly house that they have to pay mortgage for. Of course, she isn't contributing anything to that. It's all on him to make this dream life true. I think that's the part that screams gold digger the most to me. He is already bringing in significantly more financially than her and yet she is still not satisfied. Am I the only one confused about the vehicle? If it's a 2020 how can it be the daughters of her mother passed away five years ago? 2917? The dad must have bought it recently but decided to have it in his daughter's name because he wants her to have it for college. YTA. He told you earlier on and you just went along assuming what you wanted to about the house. Now, your fiancé could and probably should have been more clear about this stuff before you guys decided to get married. Your behavior and views on the house are mind-boggling to me. All of your statements are, me, statements and you come off incredibly entitled and selfish. Maybe that's not the case and you're just not coming across well via text, but it doesn't look good. YTA I'd ask for the ring back too. Glad he saw this post. YTA. You do sound like a gold digger. She is a gold digger. No ifs or buts about it tears of joy. YTA. You sound very entitled. Sure did dig real deep. But no gold was found. Lol. YTA. So you want to steal the house of a 15 year old? Are you the wicked stepmother or something? He is offering to buy a house with you so it would be yours and his house. He should have explained the situation better, because you are going to mix finances. However, you didn't ask because when he said the house was, hers, it should have been obvious it was because of her late mom. He could rent it out and put the rent in his daughter's college fund. She is going to be 18 years old very soon, so it's better if you get your own place anyway. Doesn't sound like she has any finances to mix with his. And if she does it doesn't sound like she would. What's his as hers? What's his daughter's as hers? What's hers as hers? Bet she's also counting on what's her parents as hers. At least he got smart and ended it. Info. How many houses do you bring to this marriage? Oh wow. Asterisk 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 awesome asterisk 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 way of putting it. Greater than ETA. He saw the post and asked for his ring back. I guess this isn't a problem anymore. You phrased that wrong. You are not his problem anymore. In case you're left wondering. YTA. YTA. Seriously. The world doesn't revolve around you and your needs. He is a good dad. IDK. Emo whether or not he's a good dad is going to depend on whether or not he marries the woman that wanted to steal his daughter's inheritance. Y-T-A. I read above and you know what I saw. He has not lied to you. He had mentioned before that the daughter has master bedroom because it is her house. You are the one who did not ask any clarification whatsoever what it means. So he has mentioned it, but you did not care enough to ask any questions. Do you listen to him at all or were you just waiting to get your greedy little fingers on his house? You see what I did there? I assumed without knowing anything about you as person that you just wanted the house and man who provides. Doesn't feel nice does it? The reality is that you guys have appalling communication together and you got mad when you just did not care to ask questions he didn't lie but wasn't hiding but had equally bad way to communicate. If you really love this man and want life together you work on your communication and you apologize for not asking relevant questions and he apologizes for unclear way of communicating. I mean, what's to clarify? Legit he said it was his daughter's house. This is seriously the funniest thing I've read on here in a long time. I just hope OP's fiancé knows what's going on and calls this sham off. YTA. 
You are 100% a gold digger who's upset that your man isn't a sugar daddy. Let us count the ways. 1. He has enough for 60% of a house. Why can't you provide the other 40%? 2. You're hot to get him to adopt your kid, but don't give a shit about his kid. 3. You're claiming ownership of what you, incorrectly, thought was his house, before you're even married. 4. You tried to get him to asterisk take the house from his daughter. 5. You seem to think he should have disclosed his financial business to you. Because that was 100% relevant to your decision to marry him. There was no betrayal or lying. Your fiancé thought you were into him, when really you were into his house and his car. You deceived him about your motives, so you can't be justifiably upset that he didn't inform you about what you actually cared about. Y.T.A. Y.T.A. But for more than just calling him a jerk. You're trying to overstep boundaries and take away from his daughter's inheritance.